Hello, my name is Anna. I am Sapiel, and our project is mouse interface and DMX transmitter and receiver. The DMX transmitter is implemented on this D2 board, which is connected to this VGA screen, to the mouse, and through the voltage conductor to these three lamps. There is also connection to PC through serial cable. Here is the PC and here is its screen. Now Sapir will turn on the power. Please uh, notice the mouse initialization. From now the mouse is active and it's ready to transmit that. Here are the vertical and horizontal movements. Click, drag and the scrolling is uh, also active. Uh, we want to turn on these two uh, moving light lamps which are found on address 1. Anna is pressing the go to 1 button and now we are in address 1. The top shows us the addresses and the bottom shows us the data. Uh, bar graph 3 is the enable. Bar graph 4 is the color. 1 and 2 the horizontal and vertical movements. We have one more static lamp at address 41. Bar graph 47 is the intensity. 41, 42, 43 the color green, red and blue. Here is the lamp. Uh, the PC cable enables us to control the lamp uh, with the communication software. Now Sampir will control these two lamps with the help of the software. Three is the enable, four is the color, one and two are the movements. Uh, we have also implemented the universal receiver for debugging purposes. From the lamps there is cable that's going to voltage converter and from there it's going to D2 board which is connected to this VGA screen. Here are the addresses and the data. The last data that was changed is colored purple as you can see. Mm -hmm. The bottom lines show us the last data changed and last address changed. Uh, as I said, the slate can be used for debugging purposes, but we also have implemented infrastructure for moving light lamps that is found on address 21. 22 and 23 are addresses of horizontal and vertical movements of the first lamp and 24 and 25 are addresses of movement of the second lamp. We have also learned that changed its intensity as the result of changing data at address 21, this uh, little green LED. The seven segment and LED displays of both transmitter and receiver shows the last data and address that we have changed. As you can see, the uh, displays are similar. In the DMX protocol, address zero is illegal. We will show you now what happens if we send data on address zero. You can see the error message, and uh, some lamps are going to undefined state. And if we change it back, the lamps return to their last position. And here is our project. 